Rosie Bird, welcome back to Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Today is incredibly special because there is the first content update to the game, which should be adding a brand new Grand Prix feature, which actually, yeah, look at this. Ah, oh, this is so cool. You're watching CTR TV Special Edition, live from Activision. Hey, it's I'm your guys. host, Chick Gizzard Lips. And I'm Stu. What a great time to tune up and tune in to CTR TV race fans. Stu, let's get the racers out there up to speed. Rev your engines, pop your clutches, and clutch your poppers while we tell you all about the Grand Prix. Now, each Grand Prix is a super event where contestants can test their metal in a series of electrifying challenges. Woo, I love being a good challenge, which also includes being a challenge to work with. <laughs> right you are, Stu. Now, racers, as you complete each racing challenge, you'll earn nitro that fills up your nitro gauge. More finished races means more nitro, and that leads to more rewards. Absolutely, Stu. And with each Grand Prix comes new challenges for even more rewards. Whew. There could be hot new racers, smooth Ooh. new rides, and so many ways to deck them all out. <laughs> I'm absolutely flapping with anticipation there, Chick. I too feel that emotion, Stu. Now, in addition to earning insane rewards in the Grand Prix, you can also find other unique items like this in the pit stop. Anything else they need to know there, Stu? Well, according to the script I was told to read, each Grand Prix will introduce a brand new Whoa. racetrack. Is that about what you had in mind there, Chick? Exactly that, Stu. That about sums it up. I can barely contain my delight. <laughs> I know I'm excited. <laughs> now spread your <laughs> wings, push down your pedals, and get to gathering that nitro! All right, thank you so much for that episode of CTR TV. So the Grand Prix is here and there's some new content to check out and that's exactly what we're doing today. I'm so excited for it. Um, yeah, so there's new characters to unlock, as you can see in the bottom of CTR TV. Uh, Grand Prix starts today, new track, Twilight Tour, and new Grand Prix rewards. So on the bottom here, this is the Grand Prix selection. I guess we can go to here. Oh, I was gonna play the same thing again. I might skip it if it does. <laughs> This looks like it's gonna be the same video. This is CTR TV. I'm not sure. Is this all this button Welcome does? Welcome, race play this fans. Video? I'm Chick Gizzard Lips, and this is my clamorous co-host Stu. We'll be coming at you with the latest insane announcements. That's right, Chick, and I cannot wait to get cracking on the first ever Grand Prix. Fasten your seatbelt and hop in with racers around the world to compete in this Grand Prix of international proportions. It is our pleasure to introduce the brand new drivers who will be taking the wheel with us this season. Oh. Can't wait for the green light. I've been waiting for this. This time, no one will catch me. Now I'll make every front page. Ah, yeah, it's my battle horse. Wow. wow, I guarantee these new challengers are going to give the rest of our racers a run for their wampa. Oh, uh, uh, breaking news, folks. We have an exclusive look at the latest feats of engineering to take to our treacherous tracks. Ooh, boy, oh. would I like to take one of those beauties out for a spin there, chick. <laughs> Earn enough nitro and maybe you can, Stu. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have, folks and fouls. Drive fast and good cluck. Oh, I'll need it. So we're going against players online to earn up Nitro. This is different from the Wumpa Coins. This is not the Pit Stop. So this is like limited time stuff you can get for playing online. And oh, it's gonna be so much fun. So here we are at the Grand Prix Nitro Tour. So there's different Grand Prix that'll happen in the future, but this is the one we're doing right now. And as you can see, we get different things for different tiers. So if we keep on earning up our Nitro until we get the Bronze tier, we unlock different cards, different customizations, and a new playable character, which will be Tana, which we'll showcase at some point. And then also, same thing here, we can unlock a new skin for Crunch at the Silver tier, a new costume for Tana at the Gold tier. Where am I unlocking the other ladies, though? There were the other trophy girls. I don't know, we'll find out later. Um, but as you can see, there's some other things as well. Um, we have Quick Challenges, which, um, so if I select this, it looks like win a race in any mode. If I select it, nothing really happens. So there's like different challenges we can complete. We have 10 hours to complete these, interesting. So coming in first, win a race in any mode. That gets us 100 Nitro points. Fashion show, customize the car and drive it, which will definitely do. End trophies apprentice, complete a time trial race, an online racer, 
uh, complete a race in online matchmaking, and then window shopping. Visit the pitch stop to discover the daily offers. So these are just like little quick challenges we can get done to earn up more nitro points. Um, over this way, we have the daily challenges. New challenges to do every day, um, like the crystal poacher. I don't know if I want to read all of these right now, but I collected a total of 10 crystals and crystal grab with either Polar Pearl or Ripperoo. Interesting. Uh, expert stuntman performed 10 trick jumps with Polar. Trick jumps? What does it mean by that? I don't know, like shortcuts? Multi hits. Hit an opponent with a power up in an online matchmaking race. Oh, that's cool. And some of these we'll be doing today for sure. Finish first without using any turbo pads in Crash Cove. Interesting. Some of these we can do offline. Complete a Wumpa Cup. Very, very interesting. And then we have weekly challenges as well. Uh, win a game in three different battle modes on Desert Storm. Yeah, we're gonna be checking out the new map for today. Um, speaking of which, we have the themed challenges. Zero to first. Finish first in Twilight Tour while starting in the last, the, the last lap in last place. Better than yourself. Establish a best time and time trial in Twilight Tour and then beat it. Check out my new ride, playing online matchmaking using the Bend Buggy Cart, friend or foe. Win a race against one of your friends in online matchmaking in Twilight Tour, and the same podium. So there's like lots of cool stuff. I'm so excited for a lot of this. Um, same thing with the pro challenges. Interesting, so we get even more Nitro points for getting some of that stuff done. We also have the championship leaderboard. Finish in the top 5% to receive this reward, a champion cart. Oh, that looks so cool. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to do that, but I will certainly try. I will certainly try to kick some butt online and see if we can get that done. And then there's the Nitro leaderboard and it's the same deal, I guess, just finishing the top 5%. Okay, let's hope for the best. I'm guessing if we do well enough, we eventually get up into the Nitro or something? Who knows? Um, but I would definitely like to earn that cart. So yeah, we're just about good. I'm gonna do one round online checking out the brand new track. The Twilight Tour, man, that's cool. Because it's like it takes place in Egypt, which we didn't have any tracks that took place in Egypt, even though it was a very prominent stage style for Crash Bandicoot 3. So we're just gonna try right here in um, just medium difficulty, typical stuff. When it comes to characters, I'm sure I'll change this up a little bit. I think we'll just go for Crash for right now so I can figure things out. But yeah, we're still gonna be doing other character showcases and stuff, what's this? Okay, they changed the icon for this. Whoa, there's been a new update to add in a new skin as well. It's Biker Crash, like, oh, there's so much stuff. I'm so excited. But we're just gonna keep with Basic Crash for now, um, and we'll work from there, and it'll be so much fun. Um, but as you can see, we can get plus 10% if we get certain uh, buggies and carts and stuff, so that's cool to know. I don't have any of them yet, unfortunately, uh, but I'm sure we will at some point. But yeah, I'm just excited to check out this new track for now and we'll move on from there. So let's get started taking a look at Twilight Tour. Here we are, we get to go through the giant pyramid and ooh, out into the little city here. Like this really is a lot like Crash 3. There were a lot of Egypt levels there and it always really bummed me that there were some environments in Crash 1, 2, and 3 that just didn't make their way to CTR but it looks like with these new courses, totally new, I've never been in a Crash game before. This is like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. So one thing I will try to do in these first few laps is just sort of go through the normal way, and then we'll try to check out shortcuts in the next couple laps, and then right before the third lap starts, I'll try to, <laughs> that was a little crash dog. I'll try to slow down and get in the last place for the third lap so that we can get back up the first. If that'll be possible, whoa, big jump. Oh, this is so cool. It looks awesome. We're inside of this pyramid with gold everywhere. I got knocked out a little bit. That's fine. It's a really nice looking track. I was worried it wouldn't have the same like nostalgia or just like pizzazz that the normal CTR tracks have, but so far so good. Oh, and here we are out in the city. Oh boy, I'm gonna try to dodge some of these guys. I got one last rocket I can use. Eh, it's gonna hit the wall, that's fine. Oh, I could have maybe gotten up there to the top left. That looked possible. I'm trying to keep an eye out for secrets. I could definitely get up top there. Okay, I got another rocket. That should hit him. Ow, ooh, yikes. <laughs> okay, keep it drifting. This is so cool, it's a long track too. I think we're about to hit the end of it. All right, ready, jump. Yeah, there it is. Get that cannonball, that won't hit anybody. But there's the first lap done. That was a ton of fun. I haven't seen any Wumpa crates, so. Oh boy, whoa, nice shortcut right there. That definitely cuts a corner or two. And I'm gonna jump off of this. This is such a fun track. I can't wait to race this one online. Whoa, whoa, watch it, Papu. 
Oh, okay, I fell in the water. Yikes. Oh, so it even has like the lower, well, I guess it's not lowering and raising, but there is water in this, which is something that happened in a couple of Crash 3 levels, where there'd be water raising and lowering. So what I'm gonna try to do is just keep going as fast as I can, get ahead of everybody. And I was curious to see yeah, look at this, I'm up here. Oh, that's so cool, that's such a nice little shortcut. And then we can go right into another one up this way. Wow, and that's actually a nitro boost too, so that's really gonna get us some major speed if we were able to keep it. But that was awesome. Okay, so this is where I wanna slow down a little bit and let everybody pass me, and I'm gonna try to catch back up the first. I don't know if it's gonna be possible, but that's my goal, so that hopefully we can get that one achievement that I need, which is to get, you know, so, to, so that we can get more nitro in this Grand Prix. There we go, so everybody's passing me by. Man, they're gonna go quick. But we should be fine now. Last lap coming up. I need an Aku Aku as soon as possible. There we go. Okay, I hit Dingo Dial with one of them. Now I'm in seventh. Let's see if I can do this, if I have the stuff. Probably should've put it on easy mode, to be honest with you, but that's fine. Oh man, I'm still super behind. Ooh. I'm starting to get closer to the whole pack of them because they're all sort of bunched up at the moment. Oh, here we go. Oh, there was all the Wumpa Fruit. It was all in a big stack over that way. There really isn't too much of that. I feel like that's sort of a little underutilized so far in this track is the amount of Wumpa Fruit. So what I want to do is jump for it. We made it. Okay, well, I wasted a rocket. That's fine. Whoa. No, that was my potion. Oh, no, that might do me in. I can't believe it because <laughs> I put that out to block myself from the rocket that was chasing me. Ah, oh, looks like Ripper is gonna get me and maybe a couple of other guys too. That stinks. That's fine though. <laughs> we'll have to try it again at some point. Oh man. Hey, third place isn't so bad for a first time on a track though. That's just such a new experience for me. Never playing a Crash Team Racing track before? That hasn't happened in like 20 years. Okay, that's so cool, but you see we sliding our way through, we get a thousand points, or a hundred points there, and five points for the local race competition. We also get 43 coins, very interesting. So we still have a lot more of the Nitro to earn, but it is very cool to know that we can earn it up offline. So I figure at this point, we'll go back online and start racing and just sort of enjoy ourselves, play whatever characters we want. And next episode, I'm probably gonna get back to character showcases, but while I'm showcasing characters, I'll be trying my best to earn up points and just doing whatever else we wanna do, you know? So that seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun, but that track definitely gets a high rating from me. I really enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, we got like one daily challenge done there, which was sliding your way through, which was perform a power slide, obviously pretty easy to do. Um, but yeah, well, we're just gonna go ahead. Actually, maybe I should spend some more time getting some of these done. Like coming in first, one race in any mode, complete a cart, customize a cart and drive, but maybe we'll do that now. Complete a time trial race, that shouldn't be too bad, but I do wanna have, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna save that one because I have a whole episode dedicated to that soon enough coming up. Uh, complete a race in online matchmaking. Okay, so maybe we could do these two and online racer and then window shopping, this is a pit stop. Yeah, we can do that right now. All right, pit stop and that gave us 100 points right there. Whoa, and there's, okay, there's also stuff in here. This is where we get the uh, the trophy girls on. And if we buy it, we also get some stuff. Wow, and there's some new stuff, like bike, Biker Tiny Tiger, I'm pretty sure that's new. Whoa, and then the Nitro Tour Pack 7. I guess like it's a bunch of like different country flags. And that's really cool. So we got Liz over this way, we got Amy. Oh, I'm so excited, there's so much to do. We gotta get playing right now. Um. So yeah, what I'll do then is we're gonna go online, we're gonna get to racing, we'll customize some characters and stuff, and we'll get at it. We'll see how far we can get. We can hopefully at least get the bronze tier in today's episode, that's what I'm hoping for. And as we're getting other things done, hopefully we can make our way up in the rankings. This is so cool. So let's go to the lobby, it's you know, 9, 15 a.m. on a Wednesday, so I don't know how many people are gonna be playing, but in the meantime, I can customize some stuff. I mean, honestly, I don't mind doing like totally random stuff, so we could just do blue crash, uh, and then randomize. What character am I gonna get if I randomize? I get Polar, okay, I'm gonna showcase Polar in an upcoming episode, but you know what? I don't mind, let's just do it. <laughs> I don't think people care too much if I play a character ahead of its showcase, right? I hope not. Man, some of them already have some of the other characters, but I'm gonna be talking all about those characters once I showcase them, so I don't wanna blab too much. There's three separate Polars in this, in this race. <laughs> That's crazy. And we're going in the sewer speedway. 
One of my chances of winning this probably pretty low because I still can't get that shortcut, but I will try my best sooner or later. I am so excited though, for sure. This is just, oh, it's awesome how much content was added with this. We have so many episodes of this this game coming up already. Um, and on top of that, now we have these Grand Prix. And here's the thing, there have been two other Grand Prix already confirmed. A Grand Prix that includes Baby T and a baby version of Crash and Coco, and then another one, um, that includes Spyro, it's some kind of Spyro Grand Prix. So we got lots of cool content coming up in the game and I'm sure more might be coming soon. I mean, there's still so many other different types of characters they could add like Embryo, Koala Kong, tons of awesome stuff. So I'm excited for that. I actually have, you know, I did. I just realized this, this is really weird because I didn't even re remember that this happened until now. I had a dream I was playing Crash, Ra Crash Team Racing last night and that Koala Kong was in the game. That's a weird dream to have. <laughs> but that's, I guess, how much of a Crash Team Racing nerd I am. Anyways, let's get to racing. Let's see if we can't catch up to anybody. I hope we can get first, but you never know. There's always good racers online. But I'm out in the lead to begin with, so I just gotta hope that nobody runs into too good of an item. Oh, they're catching up to me. Man, we got some tough competition. Everybody wants to be on the top of that champion leaderboard. Oh, some, no, nobody made it. I was gonna say some of them did, but we all hit the wall. Okay, at least we failed together. We got a sense of community going on. Okay, yeah, dodge that. Looks like some of them weren't so lucky. I'm in fifth place right now, but we're also clustered. This is the kind of race I want to see online, where everybody is sort of even. Okay, here we go. I got a really good Aku Aku. I wanted to save it until we got past some of that, because I can really use this to catch up in a good way. I don't have the most acceleration, so I'm playing Polar, of course. That's better turning now. Oh, not gonna get an item. Be careful of all the TNTs. But man, yeah, there's a good core set of players here. Nobody's bothering with the shortcut. Actually, they were, but they hit the wall. Oh, I know the temptation. I'm avoiding it with everything I have. Ow. Get the Wumpa Fruit, though. So I'm in second place right now. If I can find a way to get into first, that'd be a big, big deal. I get a Cannonball, which won't help me too much with that idea. I'm just gonna fire it away. And it's another polar racer in front? Oh no, that's the person in the last place or something? I don't know, you get a little confused about where we are. Yeah, there's Coco in first. I was looking at the map and I got confused. <laughs> oh boy. It's the final lap and Coco is building up on the lead. Here's the thing. If I don't get this shortcut, I'm probably not gonna be able to catch up. Oh man, didn't work. That was my only chance. I messed it up, now I'm in third. That's okay, we'll figure it out. I get 10 Wumpa Fruit. There's definitely still a chance I could catch up. And I mean, this is like my first online race of the day. These players are in like a whole different level than the AI. So definitely it could be tough to catch up. Ow, we got the slowdown. Race ends in 30 seconds, looks like Coco just got the win then. Ow, and now I get hit, of course. I don't think I'm gonna catch up to Tawna here. But how cool is it that Tawna is in the game? Oh my gosh. I know I'm, I said I wasn't gonna blab about it until we showcased her, but I can't handle it. I mean, I'm still gonna try my best to showcase the characters in order, but I might, you know, have some characters cut the line a little bit. You know, if you guys really wanna see some ton of gameplay early, because, you know, I wanna showcase all the characters in order. I just don't know if it'll work out that way. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We get our first race of the day online. We get third place, so I don't think we get anything bonus for our Nitro, except for playing with a customized cart. But I guess we'll find out in a moment whenever it tells me my rewards. Here we go, so we get 100, okay, so we got 300 there for online racer, online racer race competition and fashion show, and we get 185 coins. It looks like it's a five times daily bonus. So I was getting confused about that in the last couple of episodes. Apparently, you get a daily bonus for playing online, but not forever, just for a couple of races, and then you know, you're know you sort of out of your daily bonus for the day. You gotta wait until the next day, which sort of makes sense. They don't want people playing and they're just getting tons and thousands of coins because then you can just sort of blaze through all the content too quickly. Whoa, they're actually doing the little showcase things now. This is awesome. Where it actually show the little winning podium. They didn't have this before. So like, I didn't, I wasn't able to show like the winning animations for things, but now I will be able to. It's sort of a shame because I missed it on some of the characters, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Anyways, we'll just go for another race for right now before I start going back. Uh, I don't want to play as Papu right now. I'll play as Polar again, I guess. Polar's a fun character. What maps do we have? I guess we're doing Android Alley. I need to choose faster. Okay. 
But actually, I have some time. Maybe I could change my character. I feel like I do want somebody... Android Alley, I don't really know too much about. Okay, well, I guess I'm staying as Polar. I ran out of time. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm having a blast so far. Hopefully, you guys are too. Let's get into another race. All right, Android Alley. Here we go. Let's see if we can't get a win here. I just need one win today. If not, I'll do it, you know, single player. It should be fine. But we have some good competition, so definitely forces us to stay in practice. Did I steal the item there? I think I did. All right. Thought I was jumping soon enough there. Sometimes the jumping to this one can be a win. That, really? Are you sure about that? I don't know, that was a weird angle. Oh, let me get this. Ah, you got it, okay. I'm in seventh place. I am way in the back. This is not what I wanted. Okay, I got that one. Yeah, Coco's way ahead of the competition. I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to do much about that. That's fine. Definitely I need to pick up some practice because you know I bash record and then I haven't played in a week. So I'm sure I'll hopefully be able to pick up a couple more skills as I play today. But I've been so ready because I, I tried to pre-record all the way up until this update so that I could get back to just doing this and check out the Grand Prix and everything. And the Grand Prix is everything I was hoping for and more. There's just so many different characters added because I think in total there was five characters and then a ton of skins and a new track and tons of new customizations and carts and stuff like that's crazy. Okay, I'm in fourth place now, but I am not jumping off these very well. I swear that I used to be able to get more height off of them, but it might just be because I don't have enough speed or something. There we go. Ow, oh, come on. Getting hit by the items, that's never good. I still have so much more to go. Actually, Tana's taking the lead, even beating out Coco. What is going on? But as soon as I can, as soon as we run into a track maybe that I have a little bit more familiarity with, hopefully I can catch up a bit more. I'll have to wait and see. Maybe this car combo looks pretty cool, though. There we go. Trying to dodge this potion. Cut this corner because it definitely saves a lot of time. The only problem is that everybody else is doing the shortcut. How effective is it really? Oh gosh. Whoa. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Why are you hitting me? <laughs> it just—it has to hit every player, doesn't it? Oh boy. Come on. It's just right now, everybody's pretty separated. Like I'm in fourth, but I'm very, very behind the person who's in third. There we go, see that's the kind of boost I've been trying to get off of that. Okay. I feel like I need a character with better acceleration though. So I might turn into like Coco or even maybe like Tiny. I mean, he has better speed more than he does acceleration, but you know what I mean. Okay. Race ends, so it looks like uh, somebody won already. Oh boy. Come on, is there any possible way I can finish this race right now? I think so. I don't think I'm gonna get any better of a placement, unfortunately. Can cut that corner pretty well. Come on, 10 seconds left. We got it, we got it. Yeah, okay, at least I finished, that's something, right? Yikes. Okay, I, I might go and find a new lobby or something. I definitely wanna go back to the Grand Prix area and see what other things we can earn up points on. I don't even know if we'll really get too many points for this one. Let's find out whenever it tells me. Okay, so I do get multi-hits, online race competition. So we actually got to our first tier, so we unlocked a bandit buggy. That's cool, I can use that to get even more points. We'll get 255 coins. So what is with the five trophies there? Is that just telling me how many times I've won? I don't know what the trophies were there next to the, the thing. Huh, weird. It would be cool if I, I did have like a total race one counter. So there's a couple of things I definitely wanna do here. First off, we have uh, expert stuntmen perform 10 trick jumps with Polar. What I think that is, is whenever you jump really high, your character will sometimes do a little bit of a trick and they'll get a boost. And then along with that, no boosts needed, finish first without hitting any turbo pads and crash code. We should be able to do that. And then we'll also get a win. So that should be pretty good. Um, and the power up master hit an opponent three times with a missile using Dr. Cortex, I'll have to do that later. I'll play as, I think I'll play as Polar on Crash Cove and get a win, and that'll get us a lot of points. Score five points in limit battle with Polar. 
and Limit Battle. We'll have to try that at some point. And Wumpa Collector, got 20 Wumpa Fruit and a single race in Crash Cove. Okay, we'll have to do that as well. Um, score a total of five flags and capture the flag in the North Bowl. Okay, so lots of interesting things we can still try in today's episode. Um, and then, of course, we'll try to slowly earn up points as we play online in the next couple of episodes. It should be fine. Uh, Crash Cove, confirm. The character should already still be polar, looks like it. So I'm ready to go. Actually, hold on. <laughs> I wanna try out the new cart. Um, oh no, that should be over this way, right? Uh, bodies, the brand new cart is, wait, didn't I unlock it? Yeah, I thought I did. Hold on, what? I reached the thing. Hold on, we're gonna back all the way up. Yeah, I reached the thing, how do I activate it? Maybe I don't get it until the end of the, no, that wouldn't make any sense. You can see I have the buggy. Maybe that just unlocks it to be purchased in the pit stop? That might be how that works. I'm not really sure, so I can't really use the buggy just yet. Weird. I could buy some new characters, but I definitely wanna buy the more expensive ones first. I'm gonna try to spend out, save up 5,000 coins for uh, Nitro Squad Amy over here or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. Weird, yeah, it just doesn't give me the, no, wait, that was the wrong button. It doesn't give me the option to try the bandit buggy. Okay, so here we are in Crash Cove. So our goal is to get in first, and also to not use any of the speed boosts, and also try to collect 20 Wumpa Fruit. That should be fine, because there's only, there's only launch pads or speed up boxes. Why did I put that up there? I'm the only one who's gonna run into it on the very end of the track. So as long as I avoid that, and also if I take these pirate ship jumps, that should definitely give me a couple of trick jumps. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Buddy. There it is, you see how he sort of jumped in the air there, so I have to sort of fight my instincts and avoid those. I've been hitting those my entire Crash Team Racing playing career. <laughs> I gotta avoid them now. Oh boy. Play sat down. So I've already gotten six Wumpa Fruit. Yeah, I don't exactly know how I could get more. I mean, I guess there might be some more in here. Yes, there is. Okay, so if I can get these, each box gives you six. So if I need 20, I need to get four of them. So we should be able to do that if we take the same path next time. But I'm so far ahead as it is, I'm not really too worried about going out of my way for it. Even though, like I said, I really shouldn't have to. What did I do there? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, keep it moving. Yeah, I'll try to earn up as many points as I possibly can in today's episode. I don't know when I unlock the Banda Buggy because I, I just don't know if that just makes it unlock in the pit stop or something. But I have double checked. I couldn't really find anything in the moment, like the couple minutes I had. I checked online. But I did see that people were saying that um, everything that you see in the Grand Prix will be eventually unlockable in the pit stop. It's not like permanently limited time. It's just the Grand Prix is the best way to get all of the stuff. So that's good to keep in mind. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna win this race. And I definitely got 20 Wampa Fruit, I think. And I haven't hit those, so we should get a lot of Nitro for this, because we're getting like four or five missions done at once there. Let's find out though, you've unlocked a new skin, Red Panda Polar, which is cool, we'll check that out in some episode or another, but we get plus five, 100, 100, 100, so we got 305 there, that's not too bad. Local race competition, Wampa Collector, no beast needed coming in first, yeah, okay. So we're getting there, 805 out of 5,000, we still have lots more to do, of course, but I think that maybe that might be a good place to leave it off for today's episode. Let me, I'm gonna go back and see if maybe there's one or two more races we can do, and then we'll see. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new car. Okay, I just had to get a little bit past it. So here's the band of buggy unlocked. That's very cool. We finally got it done. We do have one more quick challenge left, which is Entropy's Apprentice, complete a time trial race. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing that soon. In an upcoming episode, I wanna have a time trial focused episode. Uh, we also have other stuff I really haven't done too much. Break a total of 50 crates, that'll be easy. Um, collect 100 crystals in any game mode. There's only one game mode with those crystals, so that's weird. Uh, capture 25 flags and capture the flag. A lot of these seem to be a bit grindy, so I don't know if I would do them on camera. Maybe I'll do a little bit off camera if I have the time, which I probably won't. But uh, yeah, there's just like plenty of stuff like that. Um, so I establish a best time in time trial for, okay, so I'll do that eventually. I mean, I guess I could do this one in today's episode because of the fact that I don't think this time trial counts for unlocking entropy. So I maybe will do this. Okay, and then play in line matchmaking for any band of buggy car. I might do that in an upcoming episode or something. Um, what other things can I maybe do in today's episode for one last race? I think I definitely will just do the time trial for uh, a Twilight tour or whatever. 
win three online races on Tour. We haven't even ran into it. Okay, so lots of interesting stuff. Finish first in an online race with Tana and Twilight Tour. We'll do that at some point, but we need to unlock Tana, so we're getting there for sure. Beat the Platinum Relic time in Crash Road. That's interesting. Lots of different stuff. I'll try to like have an occasional episode where we just focus on missions, I think. So for right now, what we'll do to finish things off is we will go to uh, Time Trial and we'll do two races on Twilight Tour, one to unlock the Entropy Ghost and then another to actually beat it or something, or at least to, you know, beat our own time. I think it wouldn't be that bad of a track to do something like uh, Coco on it. And she, does she have any new skins? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, I would like to randomize the cart and then choose Coco. Like, we'll just do that. Seems good to me. I'm ready. Let's get it going. And we'll see how this goes. Like I said, soon enough, I plan on having a full episode based on time trials. Like, I, I wanna do a full episode of getting all the CTR time trials done, and then another full episode of getting all the Crash Nitro Kart time trials done. I don't know if I need to do both to unlock Entropy, but I'm gonna do that anyways, because I like the time trials, they're pretty fun. Um, and yeah, the, just the big goal will be to uh, beat Entropy, because if we beat all the Entropy time trials, we actually unlock him as a character, and I can eventually showcase him. That'll be fun. But here we are, Twilight Tour. And my time doesn't have to be amazing this time. I might, I might even wanna hold off a little bit, just for the sole fact that I wanna be able to beat my time at some point. Because if I get the, like, the world record in one try, not gonna happen. It's gonna be impossible for me to get this extra Nitro. And I think I also get bonus Nitro for completing all of the challenges in like one grouping. So like, that's good to keep in mind. Because I think the last thing I need to do in a grouping is, or in the, um, the daily grouping, is to get the, what's it called? Oh boy, I think that was a, that was a blue boost there, that's good. Um, to get all of, or at least a time trial done. So I'm just not gonna do any shortcuts for this race. At least not too many of them. Okay, so that's what gives you the blue boost. And then you can really move through the rest of this. Oh, but I lost it right before this boost. That would've been a big deal if I could've gotten that. Maybe I should have done more polar though. Just for the fact that I would have been able to get more of the trick jumps like that. I just love the shortcut so much so I can't help but do it. And I feel like the good turning would sort of help here. I don't know, we'll see. But man, oh man, I'm just so excited to earn up all the characters. It's gonna be so much fun these upcoming episodes. So yeah, let me know how far are you in the Grand Prix? What ranking are you currently at? I would love to hear all about it. And I just hope that I have enough time to really get into it, you know? and get everything I possibly can unlocked because unfortunately I'm quite the busy zebra right now this summer. There's quite a lot of games coming. I say unfortunately, like that's the best possible scenario. I mean, we got Crash Team Racing, we got <laughs> Mario Maker 2, I'm still playing Plants vs. Zombies 2, and there's Terraria on the Switch, and there's, uh, what else is there? <laughs> I'm still trying to complete Breath of the Wild, uh, and then in July we have Dr. Mario World and Dragon Quest Builders 2 and Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Like there is just so many games and I'm trying my best to play all of them because a lot of people have been asking for that. So I'm doing what I can. So I might slow down at the end of this race just so that I can actually beat this time. I mean, no matter what, I should be able to. But I just got like a really good blue boost on that second lap. I say that, but it wasn't too much of a better time. There we go. But I am definitely interested to check out Tana and the other racers and see what their stats are and everything. So that's a blue boost as well. Now as you can see, I could really get moving. That is not a blue boost. So there's like certain ones that are and are not. You just gotta really know which ones. That'll be helpful to know for our time in the next race that we'll do with this, and that'll be good. And then I think we'll be all wrapped up for today's episode, like I said. Ooh, big jump! Yeah. I'm also so glad with just like the little quality of life updates they've added. Oh, I didn't slow down at the end of it, but we should be fine. Um, so as you can see, our best level is 104, and we do get, oh no, that got me the Entropy's Imprentice, okay. Well, yeah, but I need to just race it again. So let's retry and just try to beat that score now and we should be fine. But just a little quality of life updates. I think that they changed a couple of things. Like first off, if you're playing a Crash Nitro Kart villain um, that you know has no relation to Uka Uka, um, you won't get the Uka Uka mask now 
you will actually end up getting the, oh boy, here we go, nice. You'll actually end up getting the Velo Mask, which is something that was in Nitro Kart, I'm pretty sure, so that's a really nice addition. Um, it'll actually tell you why and how you're earning up some of the coins you are. You know, it tells us that we're getting the daily bonus now. And also, it actually has the little victory animation at the end of an online race. Like, that has me super excited because I was trying to think about that. I was like, okay, the only thing I'm not showing in my character showcases is the victory animations, which is a pretty big deal. The victory animations are a really cool part of the game. So what could I do? I was thinking I might just do a cup race so that we can actually check them out. But now I don't have to. I can just win a race online, hopefully, and that'll check out the character's win animation, and that will be perfect. Because a lot of people don't even know what the win animations look like because they only play online. So, so far we're ahead, and as long as I keep taking the shortcuts, I should remain that way. There we go, we're really moving in front of myself now. <laughs> All right, well, I missed that speed boost. That's sort of a bit of a problem. And I don't know if they've changed this yet, but there is like one quality of life thing I would like add to this game. I'm sure we'll talk about it a little bit more in the time trial episode, but I bought the Nintendo Switch version just so I could play a little bit more on my own time, which I don't really have too much time to play. Ow! But I just tried to make the most of it when I can. Um, and I was just doing some time trials. And I noticed that like, if you complete a time trial, you can't go against Entropy until you complete the time trial at a certain time. But the thing is, is that you still have to race Entropy even if you, the time you got was, oh gosh, she's catching up, is better than what he already had. So it's just sort of unnecessary racing in that way, I guess. I mean, I don't have a problem with it too much, but we did just to make it a bit more lengthy than it needs to be. And I'll explain that probably a bit more in the time trial episode. But yeah, this is definitely a cool track. I wanna hear your thoughts on this Twilight Tour track. See, I made a couple of mistakes there, and I, my old time caught up to me. This is why I probably should have waited at the end of the third lap. I was like, oh, I'll beat this time, no problem. Maybe I don't, and then I don't get any of these points I've been trying to earn. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. That was real close. Come on, now. Okay, luckily there's no guy on a flying carpet to stop me this time. And I'm keeping this blue boost going. What? Whoa, okay, I got the shortcut still. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. Now I'm gonna move, and we're gonna complete this as fast as possible. Oh. I don't remember how long the Grand Prix in general lasts, but hopefully it lasts a good enough time so that we can get everything done and get up to the Gold League. But there we go. We got Entropy opened that time as well, so that's cool to see. And that's an overall better time by a good six seconds. And because of that, we get 500 points. That's huge. Glad to see that we get another um, customization for that, which is really cool. So I think at this point, we just have to visit the Grand Prix page and it'll give me that reward. So that'll be awesome. So stay tuned for next episode. We're gonna go online and showcase more characters and along with it, hopefully earn up enough points so that we can get some other things showcased as well by uh, getting it done here. So there we go, very, very cool. And yeah, we just gotta keep on earning the points and sooner or later, we'll have Tana ready to go. We'll try to get on the top of these championship leaderboards. Like right now, my placement's 47,818. I have a lot more to go if I wanna get higher up, I suppose. Um, but apparently, like, even stuff like the champion cart will eventually be available in the, uh, and the shop, so that'll be cool, the pit stop over this way. I'm gonna try my best to earn up some of these characters. What I wanted to see though, it doesn't tell me how long the Grand Prix, okay, yeah, it lasts 25 days, so we have a while. That's good to know. I was worried it was only gonna be for like a week or something. 25 days should be plenty of time to get up to Gold League, I can only hope. But what, like I said before, let me know your thoughts on the Twilight Tour map, let me know your thoughts on the Grand Prix and everything else in between, I would love to hear about it. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Twilight Zebra so you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. On the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.